So good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for being here today. I want to share some information with you that I think is very important. We're going to be sharing outcomes pertaining to a successful investigation that stopped a crime spree, spree and potential escalating violence. This investigation ultimately resulted in the arrest of Jarve Hines on May 16, 2023. Hines is no stranger to the criminal justice um, system or activity. He spent seven years in Florida State Prison for carjacking. Before I begin, I would like to begin to, uh, by recognizing the remarkable work of these dedicated officers and detectives whose swift and skillful actions um, have made our, uh, our streets safer. This investigation exemplifies our agency's ability to analyze, strategize, and execute quickly to stop an escalating criminal and prevent future violence. It is because of these coordinated efforts of JSO investigators that Hines robbery spree was ended in just a matter of days before innocent victims were injured or killed. Between May 9th, 2023 and May 15th, 2023, Hines engaged in a crime spree across the city of Jacksonville committing multiple armed robberies with a firearm. Hines maintained an almost identical routine during his robbery spree. Each robbery he armed himself with a black revolver and masked his face. Then he would target victims at bank drive throughs across the city. Hines would approach his victims and when they were at drive through ATM uh, machines. Then he would point his gun at them, demand the victim's account and password information, and then re remove money from their bank accounts while holding them at gunpoint. On May 12th, Hines attempted to, ki to kidnap a victim and force her to take her to an ATM. Thankfully, she escaped. On May 15th, Hines shot into a car while two victims were inside of it. Fortunately, these victims were not hit by his gunfire. Even in a matter of a few days, Hines escalated his use of violence from the threat of gunfire to actually shooting at innocent victims. In response to Hines' increasingly violent spree, the investigations and patrol divisions worked together to build a targeted operation to identify and stop him from victimizing our community. Pulling resources and expertise from across the agency, investigators synchronized efforts. As a result of this coordination, Hines was arrested on the scene of his final robbery um, that, uh, on that day. Hines was interviewed by detectives from the Robbery and Violent Crimes Unit, and based on the evidence recovered and subsequent investigation, he was arrested for the following. Two counts of armed robbery with a firearm. Two counts of aggravated assault with a firearm. One count of shooting or throwing deadly missiles. One count of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. If you've been a victim of this individual, please do not hesitate to report to us or the state attorney's office. This investigation exemplifies the immediate strategic action this agency takes to respond to an imminent threat to public safety. Once a pattern of these robberies emerged, leadership efficiently responded, pulling talent and expertise from different parts of this agency to respond quickly and effectively. As a result, Hines is now off the streets facing extremely serious criminal penalties and will no longer be able to victimize innocent people in our community. Thankfully, these dedicated investigators got Hines off the streets before he killed someone. Violent crime is down across our city. Both our homicide and murder rates are down. Often I'm asked what has caused this welcome dip in, our vi in violence in our city, and violence is down simply because of arrests like this and because forward-facing, hard-working police officers in our city is coming, they're coming together to work to solve these issues. People, use, people who use violence against innocents will continue to use violence against innocents. It's only a matter of time before one of these robberies ended in serious injury or death. Luckily, we were able to stop Hines before that could happen. This is exactly the type of crime speed that could have ended in a murder or serious injury had it not been for the ex excellent work of our investigators. I'm thankful for the hard work that they do every single day to make Jacksonville a safer place for every member of this community. This case is going to continue, um, and it, like I said before, if there are any other victims, I ask you to please come forward and let us know so that we can make sure that he's held accountable for everything that he's done. And I'll take any questions at, at this time. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll get you the report so you'll know where those crimes occurred. We'll get that to you. Sheriff, what crime is that? I know they targeted the investigator, or is it just Hines? Just Hines at this point. Sheriff, can you talk about the resources you used and how you were able to connect these incidents together? Oh, that's a lot. But um, that's a lot of intricate detail. We'll get you the report so you, you'll be able to see that. Um, but it's incredible from our, from our 
video surveillance uh, to putting together NIBIN from gunshots um, if, they're, if it's available. We just use everything that we have in our manpower to make sure we address these issues very quickly. Thank you, sir. Thank you.